On se bête qu'un jour. It's a bit too casual and a bit gloomy. I may be a middle manager, Jasmine, but I smell like a god. Oh, God, brother. Hint of peach. Ah, oh, 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 you bastard. Oh, oh. Chris. How's Finland? Um, it's not going brilliantly. They don't seem particularly taken with our products. But, uh, I'm going to see their people again tomorrow in the morning. Give it another go. <laughs> How's that work then? Reggie, are you focusing? Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, Chris. Just, uh, just crunching some numbers. They're, uh, they're nicely crunched now. Reggie. Uh, sorry, Chris, I'm just off to a strategy meeting with Jasmine. I'll see you in the office tomorrow. I told her if you shave it that close, you'll get a kidney infection. <laughs> I shouldn't drink, really. It always gets me into trouble. Oh, well, then, well we should stop, because I wouldn't want to take advantage of you. <laughs> You know what I like about you, Reggie? Is it the rumours of my surprisingly tiny testicles? <laughs> no, no, it's that I never know what you're going to do or say next. Ah, uh, yes, that's a rather alarming uh, new development. Nothing uh, really seems very sane anymore. Oh. Oh, well, if your marriage is over, is this OK? Yeah, I suppose it is. <laughs> oh. This is probably against company rules. Uh, it is actually. Chris thinks the staff fraternisation undermines the smitten. <laughs> That's a tricky one at the best of mm, times. Mm. It is. You were close. Well, he doesn't approve of alcohol either. No, oh, that's just silly. Oh, Jasmine, I can't. Uh... Oh, it's awful. I still love Nicola. Oh. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, I'm a bit sorry too. I don't need anything, thank you. I don't need anything, thank you. <laughs> it's Chris. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right there. I'll just uh, go through Jasmine's inbox. <laughs> the door is over here. I'll make us a nice breakfast. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but how are you, Reggie? Um. Oh, not entirely me at the moment, to be honest. And maybe I wasn't me before. Oh. Oh, Full of continental. Do you mind if we don't? I'm exhausted. <laughs> you probably meant the breakfast, didn't you? I did really, yeah. <laughs> Huh? This is good. Yep. Sausage on the way. Oh, cheeky monkey.
27 minutes late. Futuristic traffic calming scheme in Hampton Wick. Badly positioned fairground in Thames Ditton, and then I got out of the car in Merton for a quick cry. Don't you normally come by train? Yes, well, I've taught Johnny Railway a lesson he won't forget in a hurry. What was the lesson? That I am not a sheep, and there are thousands of people out there who feel exactly the same way. <laughs> not in a sheep, I'd say, no. Let's go bankrupt in style. No, come on. I'm going to ride to and from work from now on. Really? Mm-hmm. OK. Sorry, love, that is very impressive. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> While we're on the subject, don't be shy. Get your tongue in my ear. <laughs> I stopped off at an adult shop on the way home, which is full of toys, of course, ironically. <laughs> I bought us some... Uh, chocolate oysters for their aphrodisiac qualities and some truth or dare hobnobs and uh, a pair of licorice pants. That's my kind of supper. Yeah, look, uh, I'm, I'm afraid I started today. What? I'm riding the cotton pony. Um, <laughs> I, it's my monthly off stage. Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetie. Oh, we can have lots of cuddles. Hooray! So, my office now. Here, now. Have you gone mad? No, Chris, I've gone completely normal. <laughs> May I speak for millions of victims of oppression up and down the country when I say I resign? I resign to the sound of fireworks and cosmic merriment and Lisa from invoice processing taking off her bra and waving it in the air. <laughs> Take your job and shove it up your ass. <laughs> Git. What are you going to do? I don't know. Are you going to... I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Have some cress and a free-range chicken. Mm. Book a psychotherapist, Reggie. Hello, Reggie speaking. Mr. Perrin, Mr. Perrin, it's us, all the crazy gang. Woo! Is that the library? <laughs> no, it's me, Vicky. Yes, I know, I'm joking. Hello. Reggie, we miss you so much it hurts. <laughs> I'm almost physically excited at hearing your voice. Are you really not coming back? No, I'm afraid I'm not. Oh. Hello, Reggie, it's Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. <laughs> what are you up to? Got some twigs from the garden and I'm whittling them into cutlery. <laughs> oh, that's, that's genius, Reggie. Twigs into cutlery, eh? Um, uh, cutwigs. Uh, twiglery. Better, yeah. I'm already unhappy with my conventional cutlery. He's gone mad! Oh, stop it, Vicky, honestly. Um, but if, uh, if you do need any mental help, Mr Perrin, I do do private counselling. No, I'm fine, thank you. It's an experiment in self-sufficiency. Nobody needs to buy... Anything. We're going to live off the land. I've costed it all out. It's all completely feasible. Um, but apparently I uh, do need to see a psychiatrist, so could you email me your number? Ooh, OK. <laughs> Ka-ching. <laughs> <laughs> we fixed the photocopier. Good, good. Somebody added their bodily fluids into the toner. <laughs> right, well, i better start digging. Take care of yourself, Reggie. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, thanks for the heads up on twigs. Yep. Bye. <laughs> oh, God, Reggie, at this rate, we're going to have to sell the house. I've worked solidly for 25 years. How do other people survive? We're just bad at money. You overtip. You write cars off. You buy me expensive underwear that makes me look like a Bulgarian sex worker. <laughs> Just ignore it. No, that's rude. Anyone there? Hello? The motor cars there? I think they're hiding. <laughs> They've done this before, you know. 
I eventually found them in the shed. <laughs> hey, feeling peckish. Cube of cheese in the kitchen with my name on it. Mm, perhaps we should wait here until they get back. No. Let's wreck it back to your billet for some chow and 20 zeds. Oh, I like the sound of that, Squibbles. <laughs> Shall I wear my black bast? <laughs> I like it under here. Feels safe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Reggie, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? No, but I hope it involves the word quickie. I thought we could start this therapy session with a bit of sobbing. Sobbing? Yes, it's very therapeutic. What sort of therapy is that, then? It's called sobbing therapy. <laughs> I found it online in between shopping therapy and sperm therapy. What's that? You don't want to know. Uh, will you sob with me? No, I have to hand you tissues. A bit like sperm therapy. <laughs> Can't. Come on, you can do it. Give Sue a nice big sob. <laughs> Think of something sad, like the end of a nice programme or a disappointing omelette. <laughs> Are you faking it? Well, of course I am. Oh, Mr. I'm sorry, Sue, but I can't cry. I just don't feel very upset. Oh, that's a shame. Couldn't we just talk? Oh, well, I don't think talking ever got anyone very far, do you? What about a bit of sperm therapy, then? <laughs> I got your birthday present. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> there it is, love. Happy birthday. <laughs> what is it? It's a cutting of a rose. A couple of years, that'll be flowers right out there like that. Meanwhile, you've bought me some dirt with a stick sticking out of it. Thank you. Well, what's wrong with that? You loved your string of onions last year. I did not love my string of onions last year, nor, now we're on the subject, was I cock a hoop with the laundry basket the year before. Why not? It's a laundry basket. We already had one and you had trouble getting your pants into that one, too. I thought we agreed that we weren't going to buy each other extravagant gifts. I didn't mean it. What are you, simple? <laughs> you gave me a jar of honey last year. <gasps> that was special honey! How special can it be? It's bees vomit! 